welcome back so in this tutorial we'll look at i mean we'll continue the discussion on the 8051 uart in this tutorial we'll look at uh, the exact code now uh, if you remember from the previous tutorial we had discussed the basic functions uh, to transmit a character receive a character and initialize the uart now as you could see here the functions are exactly the same uart in it it configures the timer 1 in mode 2 then it loads uh, th1 so that it auto reloads and then it generates baud rate of 9600 we have configured uh, the s con um, the s con register in 8 bit mode as well now we turn on the timer and then it generates a baud rate of 9600 similarly we have a function to receive a character as discussed before so what we do is uh, we wait till the ri flag uh, receive interrupt is 1 because as soon as receive interrupt is 1 we have received a character in the buffer and this function returns the uh, s buff as you could observe that uh, the data type of this function is uh, return data type is char so it returns the character that is received in the buffer similarly we have a function to transmit a char uh, this takes character as an input and it places that character in the s buff register and we wait till the transmit interrupt flag is zero so as soon as this is one uh, we understand that the character is transmitted and then we clear the ti flag for the next character to be transmitted so if we look at the header file here and and we we uh, we can see that it is similar to our previous example we have a c file and a corresponding header file now in this uart library we have functions uh, the following functions uh, the first one is to init the uart which you already seen the next is to transmit character and the receive character which we have seen before now you could observe that uh, there are other functions like transmit care receive care and transmit number now transmit care uh, transmit string function what it does is it takes a character array so you can see that the function prototypes indicates a, a string pointer and even a receive care and receive string function indicates a character pointer now let us go ahead and look at these two functions now uh, this is urt dot c now the next function is uh, to transmit a character now the basic uh, would be pretty same we would transmit a character till we find a null character in the string so what we do is basically while we find a null uh, in the string so it does uh, so basically the value of null is zero so uh, this uh, while statement will be uh, true till we find a null character and what we do till then is we increment the pointer and you know we keep sending characters in the string so we use a function urttx char which we discussed earlier to transmit the character one by one till we find the null similarly the receive char function uh, as you could see that it takes a string so uh, whatever string that you intend to receive will be you know that string needs to be passed here so say you want to receive a message uh, and you declare a string in the main function that string needs to be passed to this function now what this does is it internally uses the uart receive uh, rx care function so what it does is whenever it receives a character it stores it in uh, in variable ch and then it transmits it back so that we can see what was typed or what was received now this this will continue to receive it uh, until it finds a new line or a carriage written so this is carriage written or a new line so if any of these two are uh, received then what it does is it puts a null uh, to the string so it terminates the string with a null character and then it breaks so if, if it does not get a new line or a, or a carriage written what it does is it keeps uh, feeding the string and that is passed to it uh, with the ca the character that is received and it keeps incrementing the character so it receives uh, it makes it forms an entire string that is received and at last what it does is it places a null when we 
hit enter or we hit enter new line similarly there is a function to uh, transmit and receive a number so basically the need is to receive uh, transmit a number so uh, this uses uh, again the transmit care function and what it does is uh, it converts the the normal number into its ascii value so say for example 1 2 3 4 5 so this is transmitted in uh, transmitted by converting it into ascii 1 2 3 4 5 so these are the functions now i have hooked up uh, starter uh, usb board this one i have connected it to one of the usb ports of the computer now uh, and i also flash the code so let us look at what the code is so the code is to transmit and receive a string so what it does is uh, now you can see you initialize the uart here and you have declared a character string and rest of the uh, stuff is similar so register 51.h it includes the standard uh, library file for the at51 and uart.h is it is the library file that we have included and then uh, we initialize the uart here in uh, while one so uh, for for the whole time what we do is uh, we receive uh, we we send a string called enter a new string and then whatever string we receive it is stored in this particular uh, character string so this is declared here and now what we do is once we receive the string we transmit it saying that this was the entire uh, this was the entire string and uh, this is done by the tx string function so we just print a message saying this is the entire entire string and we we print the actual string that was uh, entered here so pretty basic uh, basic function so i already transferred the code now let us look at the uh, working here so uh, this is a terminal software uh, which is pretty flexible and you can select the baud rate here and com port which is detected for the board now let me just go ahead and show you this so if we go to device manager so uh, and if you have a usb to serial convert converter then it shows up in the device manager as a com port now if you could see here it, it shows here as com25 so the board which is connected it shows up as com25 now let me close this and this program uh, you need to from drop down you to select the com port you could use any other uh, terminal program like the hf terminal but this is pretty flexible you can uh, select the baud rate on the go so for this program we have put the baud rate as 9600 now uh, let me just connect that and uh, I already flashed the code, so if I reset it, I will get the message here. So uh, if I enter the string, over you the what you could observe is as I'm entering the string, the controller is uh, spitting it back. So, so that is there in the UART, uh, you know, receive string function. So what it does is when the entire string, it receives the character and it also echoes it back. So and if I hit enter it will terminate the string and it the function will print it back so the next is uh, so in the next line it uh, it says enter its string and then it displays back what was entered so this is a pretty uh, simple program so you can explore the library and you can uh, use it in your code now if, uh, do not forget to subscribe the channel and share the videos thank you for watching